I don't know if I've done an update, so if I haven't, hello everybody and welcome to my November 2022 uh, book haul. Dane reads. I won a job lot of a bunch of John Wyndham books on eBay, so I'm going to take you through them. Basically just list the titles, because what else can I do really? Um, the ones that I haven't read, I will read. The ones I have, I will just chuck straight on eBay. So I got The Seeds of Time. Jizzle. What a great name. Sleepers of Mars. What's this? A Sense of Wonder by John Wyndham, Murray Leinster and Jack Williamson. The Seeds of Time. Didn't we just have that one? Yeah, we did. Okay. The Secret People. The Chrysalids. Already read the Chrysalids. Chucky. The Kraken Wakes. Can't remember if I've read that or not. Stowaway to Mars. Wanderers of Time. Did we have that one? I'm getting... Uh, no, okay. Trouble with Lichen. Web. The Day of the Triffids. Which I have read. And Consider Her Ways and Others by John Wyndham. So I'm very excited to be reading all of these because I do like a bit of Wyndham. So it's good to have some to stock up my TBR list. I have three books for you today um, that I got in the charity shop. So I went for a little charity shop wonder with uh, Shay, my other half. So I picked up um, the official Angry Birds side splitting rib tickling joke book. Um, I don't think it has an author name. Just Egmont, the publishers. Um, I'm going to go in and we'll pick out a joke. I think it's very odd. You can kind of read it either way up. Depending, I guess it switches orientation halfway through. What do you give a sick pig? Plenty of room. What's a twip? What a wabbit calls a twain ride. Very nice. So yes, I have that. I picked up The Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. He's the guy who created Death in Paradise. Um, I actually saw him speak in an event at uh, Wickham Art Centre, I think last year, might have been the year before now. All the years are kind of blurring together. Um, but yes, it was a very interesting little chat. And Marlowe is just around the corner from me as well. And then I picked up Poems of Paris, uh, edited by Emily Fragos. And this is literally poems about Paris. Um, very excited to, to read some of these. This is one from Guillaume Apollinaire, Trip to Paris. Ah, what a charming ride to leave a gloomy countryside for Paris. Lovely Paris, which long ago love must have found beautified. Ah, what a charming ride to leave a gloomy countryside for Paris. And obviously that's translated from French, so I don't know how well it's done. Kind of would be nice to have some of the original French poems here to be honest. Maybe I'll read some poetry in French at some point. Hello everybody, I've just got the one book to talk to you about today. This is Once Upon a Time in Drayton Bassett by Alan Woodings, the second edition of it. And this is just a little book I've worked on with my granddad, so uh, he has quite bad dyslexia, so I've been helping to sort of rewrite and edit it all. And it's just um, the story of him growing up in this little town called Drayton Bassett. Got some of the history of Drayton Bassett, like that's the coat of arms of the Ralph Bassett, the second Baron Bassett of Drayton. That is Sir Robert Peel. Um, so yeah, it's the, this new edition, it has the original edition and then a bunch of new, new um, added sections to it as well, so it's about 65 pages now, so not the longest book, but a very cute little thing. Um, Muggins here did the cover design as well for it, I think I did alright. So yeah. Today I got some books. Ah! So I had to go to town to just to go to the pharmacy and so while I was there I thought I'd check out the charity shops and I picked up Five Get Beach Body Ready by Enid Blyton, well it's actually by Bruno Vincent, it's a parody. And House Arrest Pandemic Diaries by Alan Bennett, which I didn't even know existed so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, Bennett's diaries have been like bedtime books for me really, but this one is only 50 odd pages so I think I'll get through this as a main read. Alrighty everybody, I've got just two books finally to, uh, to haul for you. So the first one is All Island No Sea by Chris Campbell. So Chris is a poet, I've read one of his previous collections, this is his latest. Uh, so he sent this to me for review purposes, I will be doing a video on it soon. Um, and he's also going to be appearing on my radio show, so thank you to Chris for sending this. I guess, as always, with a poetry collection, I'm going to read you a short poem. I did like this one actually. Uh, Dear Alan, Alan, Alan. I want to talk to you. Your mangy mongrel has bitten me again. Ran around the side past my bed of roses. Sunk its teeth into my calf like it was the carrot cake I brought round for you. Wish I hadn't. Now in the heat wave, I'm sat with my leg pointing due west, ahead of the sunset that I'll miss while watching another heat in the Olympics on my hot, overworked TV. 
I just have to smell the mint and lavender through the, my small window beside me that I struggled to reach over and open this morning. Now I need Herculean strength to close it, so I catch a noisy mutt peeing on my roses. He barks relentlessly and he's drowning out the Japanese crowd. It wasn't like this last week, Alan, before you moved in and I could work peacefully in the garden, tending to the lilies, plucking strawberries like hooker ducks. Tonight I'll picture my lawn before you arrived. Birds feeding and teaching the little ones how to fly. A pink sky will colour my white bench in twilight. The river gently tinkling in the background like a tambourine. Alan, I'll turn my TV up to cover the barks. Hobble to the fridge for more ice. Empty the tray. So it's just the way I enjoyed your house. Neat and clear before you moved in with your bastard dog. So yes, very cool. And then I picked up uh, The Lady of Caladan, which is by Brian Herbert and Kem J. Anderson. This is the second most recent of the June books. So this is book two in the most recent trilogy. And I am looking forward to getting to this. I want to get to this soon. So those are all the books that I got in November. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.